everybody, Allie here with ABC Bead Supply, and I'm here to share with you our latest creativity pack edition. Um, this is volume two, the second edition of the Sayings pack. So we did um, another pack previously. Um, it sold out. This is the second uh, volume of it, which features all new silicone focal beads. So the silicone focal beads are completely different than the first one. Um, so if you had the first one, you can still grab the second and have totally different project designs. Uh, that you can create with it and then all of the supplies to coordinate with it would be different as well might be some of them the same but they're gonna they're all all of our coordinating uh, supporting materials are selected to match those focals so they're gonna vary too so new stuff for you today um, we have two options on the creativity packs now you can choose the pen pack which has all of the pen colors that um, are picked to match the focal beads you can get ten of them ten focal beads ten pens or you can choose the keychains which comes with ten keychains three gunmetal three silver two rainbow metal one rose gold and one regular gold um, you can opt to get the keychain option as well if you would prefer to make keychains. So it's either 10 pens or 10 keychains with the kit. You choose one, you're not getting both. And then um, you get the 10 silicone focal beads. You get an assortment of 15 millimeter abacus and lentil silicone beads, an assortment of spacers and 8 millimeter beads, and an assortment of 20 12 millimeter acrylic beads. Um, and the holes of these will all mat will all fit on the pen rods. So um, this again is the same. This is volume two of the same edition. And let's just show you how easy it is to design with these. Uh, we'll make one pen and one keychain. Um, let's start with the keychain. So first, you're just going to start with whatever um, silicone bead you want to use. Let's use this. Be real, not perfect. Um, and then you're going to pick. I'm going to make a keychain first. So. And we're gonna pick our keychain. Gun metal looks really nice with that one. The rainbow metal, ooh, really like that with the black and the pink. I think I'm gonna go with that. So you'll take your focal and your beaded key, your beatable keychain. And then from there, it's picking the coordinating supplies um, and then figuring out how many you need um, to fill the rod which just takes a little bit of playing around with the materials. Um, I don't like to put the silicone focal on first all the time. Lots of times I like to leave a little gap and have something before it. Um, so I'm gonna start with a 12 millimeter bead. Um, don't wanna confuse that. So let's see. I like that rhinestone with it a lot. The fuchsia goes really nice. Actually, that fuchsia is a really good pop, isn't it? Um, black looks good too. Let's, you know what, let's start with black because I don't want to touch, you could, but I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't like always touching whatever the base color of the bead is with the base silicone. So if there's a black bead, I'm gonna wanna break that up. So I think what I'm gonna do is start with a black bead. It's just kind of a little bit of a behind the scenes behind my design process. Um, and then I'm going to do a lentil. So we'll go from black to lentil. And that way the black isn't touching the black. It breaks it up a little bit. Awesome. I like that. Um, then let's see. I think I'm going to go with some white maybe. I want to definitely incorporate some of these fun spacer beads. Let's see, I think this white high shine is gonna look really nice. So spacing wise, if I use the high shine, how much space do I have? So not a ton more is gonna fit. Maybe an eight millimeter bead um, on the end. I could do the white. Actually, that might look nice because that would break up the, um, the black and this ball is kind of dark. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do a white on the end. That doesn't leave room though for a spacer and I had wanted to use a spacer. So let's see, let's see how that looks. So I'm gonna take out the white pearl eight millimeter bead. And with these eight millimeter white pearls, sometimes you just gotta twist them over the wrong. Sometimes they don't plop right on. That one did, but just as a heads up, they don't always go on immediately. Nope, I had something else there. Oh, I had black. I had 
the black in between and now I don't but that's okay because I think that's actually what I need to do rather than having three at the top of course now I've got black touching the black silicone and that's gonna be a little overloaded so what are we gonna do I am going to go down to an abacus white so that there's a little bit more room um, I'm going to go back to putting this 12 millimeter black between the white and the pink <clears throat> and then I still have a little more room so now I'm going to incorporate a spacer bead so it really just takes a little bit of playing and that's why we have given you such a wide assortment of materials oh I like that I like the abacus with the round. All right, we're going with that. So I recommend a dab of E6000 glue on the end of that screw once you have your final design before screwing it on so that it all stays in place. And there is our keychain. Loving that. So this is exactly why we give you a pretty good assortment of, um, a really nice assortment of sizes. You've got 15 millimeters, lentils, abacus, 12s, spacers, and eights. It's that playing around with it to see what fits. Every focal bead is gonna have a different distance here. So a different number of beads, a different size grouping of beads are going to be what fits on the finished piece. So it just takes a little bit of playing around, um, but the more size options and bead types that you have, the easier that process is, which is why these creativity packs are so great because it really helps walk you through uh, or um, helps give you the options that you need. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna do, let's see, I think I'm gonna use this sassy little sole. And this burnt orange goes really nice with it. So does the black ombre, so does the pink, lots of great picks. I'm gonna go with this pink. Can't ever go wrong with a pink pen. We gave lots of pink options in this one. So we're gonna unscrew that from the rod. Um, and then I'm gonna start with a tiny eight millimeter bead at the top. I like to do that a lot on pens. I just like the look of these eights underneath there. Now, be careful if you're buying them individually, not all eight millimeter, millimeter beads fit on pen rods. The iridescent, the frosted, and the pearls are gonna be what fits. All right, so I like the look of that. I'm really liking this bead with it. <clears throat> but I wanna break that up. I don't want the pattern to be next to the pattern. Since there's the pattern in here, I don't want those to touch. I don't want to do black because then that's touching black silicone. So let's go with white and then this. And let's see how much more room we have. We could probably get an abacus bead in there. In fact, I think I might go right between those. How would that look? I like it. Do I want to commit to that? I think that's good. That was a little easy. Normally it takes me a little bit more playing around. Just thinking I could do a spacer in there somewhere, but I don't think with that eight. So dab of E6000 glue on the base of that screw if you'd like to make sure that that holds in place. Screw the base of the pen on and you have your pen and it's that easy. So there was a pen option. There was a keychain. You can pick pens or keychains for the kits, or you can get two kits and do pens with one, keychains in the other, and then you'd have double the other supplies and you'd be able to make both. So um, all of the these creativity packs are available on our blog at abcbeadsupply.com. We also have a blog post up that has photos of these projects if you want to be able to get a better look at them. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day, everybody.